String theory tries to answer a question that really has been with us since the time of the ancient Greeks, which is, what is stuff made of? So one of the strangest features of string theory is that when you study the mathematics, you directly see in the equations that the world cannot only have the three familiar dimensions of space that we all know about, right? They are, you know, left, right, back, forth, up, down, the three dimensions of common experience. That's what we know about. But the math requires additional dimensions of space for the equations to not have a logical inconsistency. And we believe that those extra dimensions are all around us, crumpled to a tiny size, so small that even though the dimensions are right here, we can't see them with the naked eye. We can't even see them with our most powerful magnifying equipment available today. The hope would be one day in the future, we have even more powerful equipment that will be able to directly reveal these extra dimensions of space if they're real. Now we can go one step further and ask, well, hey, if you've got extra dimensions of space, what about extra dimensions of time? And that's a, a much more subtle idea, much more strange idea. There are string theorists who have studied the possibility of having a second dimension of time. And the math seems to hold together. But having one dimension of time to jump to two dimensions of time, would that second dimension of time be different than psychological time? Would there be sort of a notion of uh, showing up to a dinner party early according to one version of time, but being late according to the second version of time. I mean, all sorts of deep questions that people have struggled with. We don't know if there is a second or third dimension of time, but it's certainly worth investigating it as a possibility since the math does not rule it out.